hello everyone welcome back to my channel Merry Christmas to all my subscribers so today we're going to be making a dress I'm making it for 12 year old girl so this is an idea dress for Christmas Christmas is very close it's at the corner if you have girls and you're looking for something to make for them this is an idea dress so keep watching let's get to it my fabric I'm using scuba fabric I'm using four meters of scuba fabric so I'll be cutting out the front, the upper part. I'll cut out the front one, then I'll use the front one to cut out the back. I won't be adding any seam allowance to it because it's a stretchy fabric. I'll only be adding two inches to the back for the zip, um, zip allowance. So this is the upper part. I'll place the measurement. The shoulder measurement is 13 inches. You divide 13 by two, which will give you six and a half inches, plus half inch for seam allowance. That is seven inches. So I mark 7 inches here. Yeah? I'm taking 3 and a half inches for the wideness of the neck. And the depth, I'm taking 3 inches for the depth. So I'm going to connect the lines together. For the armhole, I'm taking 6 and a half inches. And right here, I'm taking one inch for the for the shoulder slant. From shoulder to bust is eight inches. Ah, a bit. Okay, it's not working. Okay. From shoulder to bust is eight inches. Shoulder to waist is 14 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance, that is 15 inches. So the bust measurement is uh, 7 3 quarter. I divided the bust measurement by 4. So 7 3 quarter. I place my 7 3 quarter here. And the waist measurement is 6 and a half inches divided by 4 as well. So I will connect the lines together. Do connect from the bust to the waist. So I'll be cutting out the neckline first. Cutting out the shoulder. Move from shoulder to ankle. So I'll use this to cut the back side. So I'm cutting out the back side. I'll place the front one here. I'll be adding two inches for zip allowance for the back side. So I'll make the neck a little bit higher than the the back will be higher than the front one. So for the back side, I'll be cutting it into two. And that is where we have insert the zip. So I'll set them aside. The damp, so we're going to be cutting out the damp part of the dress. So with the half, I'm going to be using half of the waist measurement, which is 13 inches. The full waist measurement is 26 inches. So I want it very full. So half of the waist measurement is 13 inches. So I will, so I will divide the 13 inches, that is half of the waist measurement, by 2.28 to get the the radius 13 divided by 6.28 is 2.07 so to be on the safer side i will round it to 2.1 so i'll be taking a two inches and a quarter to cut out the skirt so 
So I'll be cutting out 360 degree two of that. I want it very full, so that is why I'm using, that is why I'm cutting it that way. My fabric is folded into four. I fold it into two, fold it again all over. We all know about this method. So I have a lot of video on how to make a circle flared or circle skirt. So I'll be placing the two inches and the two inches and a quarter here. Two inches and a quarter, I'll be placing it here. So I'll take it around. The length is 26 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance, that is 27 inches. So I will mark the 27 inches round. So I'll be cutting it out now. So I'll be cutting out two of this. I'll use this to cut the other side. I've cut out the two fillet, your circle skirt. So I'm going to be cutting this one. So I'll be cutting this side, one of the side. So I'll open up this side again. I'll open up the other one again. After opening it up, then I'll join the both sides together. Then before I open the back side, because that is where the, um, that is where the zip will go through. So this is one side. And, and this is the other side. We're joining the two sides. Then the back side will be open. That is where the zip will go through. Just pin them. Next thing is for us to cut the sleeves. So the cap, the sleeve cap, I'll be making it a little bit bigger because I'll be making a little plate here. I'm cutting out the sleeve now. I'll just eyeball it. Like I said, I made the sleeve cap a bit bigger than the normal 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 sleeve measurement because I'm gonna be making a little plate up off there. So I'll use this to cut the other side of the sleeve. So we're gonna be putting the fabric together. I'll take one of the back panel. Because I cut the back panel into it. Too. So we join the two back panels together now. This is the upper side and this is the down side. So we join them together before we insert the zip. So this is on side. Now pin this one again. Take the other side of the back panel, the upper part and the other, the down part. Also, then pin them together. The right side should be facing each other. 
Yeah. So I've joined the, this is the, the other side, the upper part to the down side. This is the back panel. I'll put the front panel together, pin the front panel so then I will go and sew them. So I'll go ahead and sew the upper part and the down part together. I'll join them together. Stitch here. I'll do the same thing to the back panel and insert my zip. So I'll finish um, joining the upper part to the down part of the dress. This is the front panel. This is the, the back panel. I've already attached my zip to the back panel. And I join them together also. So I'll be joining the shoulders and the, the sides together. So you pin the shoulders, make sure the right side are facing each other. And I'll pin the sides together as well. Yes, sir. I'll pin the side as well. So I'll go ahead, I will now go ahead and uh, sew the shoulder. I finished sewing the both sides together. So we'll be adding our sleeve to the dress now. The sleeve I cut out, I cut out, um, this is the sleeve. Remember I said I'm going to be making this a little bit wider than the normal sleeve because I'll be making a little plate here to make it a bit puffy. So I will plate it here. I'll pleat it like so. Take it again. I added interface into to this just this place where I'm plating so that it will be hard a bit. And you go this side again, you take it from here. I pleated it from this side and I'll take from here, go this way again. Take the measurement to see if, it's, if it matches with the ankle measurement I have. Six and a half inches. Six inches, so I'll make it a little plate here again. I'll go ahead and uh, stitch here where I made a plate. Then I'll push it to my dress. So we're now going to attach the sleeve to the to the dress. You turn the dress to the wrong side, and the sleeve would be turned to the right side. The right side facing the right side. So the right side are facing each other. So I'll start from here. I'm pinning them together, the sleeve and the dress together. I'll do the same thing to the other side and then sew it around. Then I'll hem my button. I'll take half an inch, just half an inch, then sew it around. Just be careful because it's quite difficult to hem a, a flared or a circle So the button, I'll take half an inch. I'll pin it around. Take, I'll take half an inch and pin it around. And use a zigzag stitch to hem the bottom of the dress. So I will take it to my machine now. So the sleeve to the dress and the hem the bottom of the dress. Then we are done. Here is the finished look of the dress. And I will try as much as I can to upload more videos this week. 
thank you so much guys for watching see you on my next video love you bye please subscribe like and share my video in case you are new to my channel